o'clock this afternoon. I'll arrange for a room as soon as they get back to the hospital. I didn't realize it was all going to happen so quickly. Well, the sooner the better. Absolutely, Joe. Absolutely. And after you've completed all those tests? I agree. 
Pat, this problem wouldn't exist if we were all together as a family. We have to find some way of dealing with him. We should begin by taking up where we left off with our marriage.
and uh, what you're saying is we'll live together in New York. As long as you want it that way. Knowing that I love Tony. Knowing that you also love your son. And you're going to keep your promise. That I won't try to make love to you? If I gave my word, I'd keep it. I can't answer you right now. Pat, Brian is upstairs waiting for some kind of order to be put back into his life. How can I decide something this momentous without getting some kind of advice? No one can advise you about this. Well, maybe not, but... I'm not going to commit myself to anything until I talk to Will Brennan. Pat, all the talk in the world isn't going to change one basic fact. Brian wants and desperately needs one family, the three of us together.
connection with the evil. Upon the No, no, no. I, I, mean, I mean specifically. Now, what do you think he, he would actually do? I think that he would be very hateful toward Tony and toward me. probably run away and go to you. Okay. So the point is that if we force Brian to accept Tony right now, he's probably never going to go through with it. Now, that's going to cause a breach between you two, which is very difficult to heal. If that occurs, what happens to Brian's mental health?
you say was concerned Joe has no sense of humor. Everything's fine. I mean, the usual problems are nothing more. That's what I like to hear. Hey, and I found out you have a really spectacular uh, one ad department. Oh? Yeah, I decided to give them an efficiency set. Mm -hmm. I ran an ad for a country western singer. What the hell would you want with a country western singer? Yeah, and don't you remember what you told us about the, uh, what was the name? Rebecca Lee Hunt. Right. Remember that? Yes, yes, right. And she saw the ad, she called, but found uh, that that's the uh, young lady who runs away every time she sees you. Yeah. But she's sick, but not eating. But, and then when I saw her, she got angry at me, so I, I sent her a care package, lots of food, everything, and soft her up a little bit. I'm just dying to know her story. Well, you know how it is when, uh, you know what some people are I don't know how it is, but I've been there a few times myself. Well, that's what's happening anyway. But what am I doing here? I mean, you didn't have an operation. You could probably want to be alone, so I better get going. Richard, thank you very much for being the radio advisor. Very sweet of you. Yeah, you're welcome.
Will, do you want to see us alone or no? No. I thought at first I would, but then Brian felt that that would exclude him as a part of the family. So, and I think he's right. Right now we'll have a three-way discussion, okay? Okay. Tell the judge. Why don't you? Tony, ask him what he thinks. Yeah, well, he, he 
before you go, if you come to any kind of decision, I'm going to tell Tony that, um, just as he took Kathy back, the time of the crisis, I'm, I'm going to let you come back and live with Brian and me.
vision.
I am Brian's father. Now, are you saying that he and you and I can't make a life together? Oh, we could have until who came back. You look before this accident, don't you? The accident had nothing to do with it. Well, of course it did. If it hadn't happened, we'd be married. Well, then, no, really, I mean, certainly not legally once Paul came back. I mean, if anything, I think it would have caused more complications.